So this is the um, prototype demo part two using the Xshore. I'm going to set up the first couple screens in a simple link so you can see some of the functions here that we're trying to do. I'm starting with this flow diagram. Uh, I'm going to show, try to show selecting using the height restriction as a guide to determine what rides are available. But to get the height restrictions in terms of uh, my prototype, I need a couple other pages. So if I just quickly go to flow, you can watch me add those. The app home screen. iPhone home screen. So what I'm going to make in this demo is the iPhone home screen that will be able to link to the app home screen, which will then, uh, and I'll stop there and the next demo will actually be doing a height restriction page and selecting a height. The first thing I'll do is rename um, my home screen uh, uh, link up here to say to be diagram or flow diagram. Okay. Uh, important, a, a powerful feature in Xure is the ability to make a master. Uh, page or diagram that you can use on multiple pages so you only have to change it once if something changes and so I'll do that for the the iPhone basic iPhone shell so down here where it says masters and you can add masters by view up here you show different uh, control panels in Xure masters is already checked add a master there if I double click it it actually creates a tab up here called New Master One, and I will call it iPhone. Okay, so now I'm, I'm editing the iPhone Master. Now I've already loaded in my widgets, widget libraries, and I went to the one I created, iPhone 4S. Drag and drop in, let it snap to the corner. Okay, now one feature that I want the uh, every page to be able to do is that when you click on the uh, home button on the iPhone it goes to the home screen down here so how can I make that an actual link well if I want the the background master on every page that I use this to be able to link back to the home page I need to create uh, a home screen app uh, iPhone home screen for it to go to so I'll uh, stop there and go create a page and come back and modify the master. Okay, so I'll take page one here, double click that, create a new pad tab for page one. I'm going to rename it. Call it iPhone Home. Okay, so now down here I have my master um, screen or or, or diagram. So I'll do is I'm, while I'm editing the iPhone home, which is a regular page, not a master page, it's going to drag that up there. Okay. So uh, what Axure does is makes your master elements, gives us sort of a slight pink veil so you know it's a, a master element. Um, what I'm going to think I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that under master, place in background. What it does is it now is in the background, so it doesn't have that pink veil over it. I'm also going to uh, lock it in place, doesn't move by accident. And I can put things on top of it. Okay, so now I'm going to drag uh, from my iPhone 4S widget library. A series of a series of icons from a home screen. So now I have my iPhone home. I'll save it all. 
now I have a page to link to for the home screen icon, the home screen button, because I want this the page I always want to go to. So I'm going to go back to my iPhone master. And actually, I'm going to rename that here again, call it master. So up here it says master. I know that's what I'm working on. So I'm going to go to my wireframe libraries because there's a, uh, a widget called image map region, which allows you to define an action for an area on your diagram that already exists. And so you just overlay this on top. I'm just going to expand that. Okay. Now when I click on the that image map region, it brings up in the widget properties, it defaults to the interactions um, menu. Notice if I go to formatting that there's nothing here I can format since it's not considered a visual element. It's just for creating an interaction. So basically, since the, the action I'm looking for is just a click, and that's the one we're going to use most of the time, it's just if I was to click that button, on click, double click that, you'll see a long list of actions here. The one I'm going to use is very top, and the one we're going to use most of the time, probably all the time, is open link in current window. In other words, change what we see in the current window. Click on that, it gives me... Um, it shows me all the pages I have so far that I've created. Notice that the master isn't on here because that's not something you can go here. I don't want to go to the flow diagram. I don't want to go to page two or page three. Um, but I want to go to this iPhone home. Whenever that's clicked on, it's going to go to iPhone home. I say OK. It shows me the little number showing that there's been some, an, an interaction or sometimes a no. In this case, an interaction has been added to that. So now if I go to my own phone, iPhone home screen, you notice now that the little transparent veil has been put over the button, meaning that there's an action been associated with that. When I output this uh, in my um, prototype generator, prototype, this little transparent veil won't be there. So now I have prepared my iPhone master, which I can use to create another page. So now I'm going to create my, create my home page for my um, theme park. So I'll just take one of these here, rename it. Theme park home. I'm going to drag my iPhone master onto that screen and let it snap to the corner. It's the ping veil meaning that it's an object can be anywhere on the screen. In this case I'm once again I'm going to move the master place in background. Okay. So I'll save that. Now I'm going to export it and you'll see how I will hopefully go back to the home screen when I click this button. So under Generators, or actually Prototype, here's the Destination Folder. It's the default fold, uh, folder for Xure. Prototypes and Documents. Xure puts it in Prototypes. I can have it go anywhere by clicking this button. It's going to open my, my default browser, which is Chrome. Generate. Okay. Here's the website it created, showing the flow diagram since that's a page. Here's my iPhone home, going through these on the left, theme park home, page three. So I'll start, I'll go to theme park home, and notice what happens when I roll my cursor over the button I made and when I click it, goes back to the theme park, to the uh, iPhone home screen. So I'll start building my master title on the on this uh, theme park home screen. Okay, moving, cutting ahead. I just made this little 
app header here and I'd like to be able to keep this as a master so I can use it again and if I want to change it I can change it in one place so I like to select the three elements three elements which is a little picture the background and the words and I right click convert to master give it a name and I'll call it app header and there you see down here it's as my app header uh, so now I'll put a button on this screen that would go to um, my next screen which would be to select height restrictions so I'm going to do something very simple for this app in terms of adding a couple buttons uh, I'll add some text So let's go to my text panel. Add a couple buttons for your cho my choices in this it's at this point. This underneath here, put this up here. So you can see how this pretty quickly can come together. Maps are pretty simple. You don't present a lot of choices on one screen, else it's too complicated and busy and too small. Okay, so since in my original flow diagram I'm trying to demonstrate finding you know a place by restrictions, I need to create a restrictions screen. So I got a new page three here. Try my iPhone master. Snap it to the corner here so it's in the exact same place. Master, place and background. Grab my app phone header, app header. It'll actually, yeah. actually, there's another way of doing that to make sure it's in the exact same place. If I go back to my theme park home and grab that master element and just copy it and go to my new app page, puts it right exact same place so I know it's fixed right where it needs to be. I'll give this page a new name. I've got a new name here. So now if I go back to my theme park home page, I shall put the word restrictions on here. So I've got my find by restrictions page. I got my theme park home page. Got my iPhone home page. Let's link from this restrictions button to that page. So I, if I click on that button, my widget properties I switch to the little lightning bolt which says interactions double click on it on click is what I want to do open I want to open link in current window because I want to open a page in the current window and it considers that a link click restrictions say OK save the whole thing now I'm going to generate my prototype. Now if I go to iPhone Home, click on Restrictions, go 
was defined by restrictions. Last thing to do is to go from the iPhone home to the theme park home. Because right now I have no way of getting to my theme park home page. Let's go back to iPhone home. I created this little blank icon. Put a couple letters in there to give it so it looks like something. So I took my little icon widget shape, put the letters TPR in front of it for theme park review. I select both and just control click to group them together so I can drag them around together. And I'll drag this right over this little games icon here. Now to make this clickable, I go to my widget wireframe widgets and I drag that image map region. That must be the exact shape I need. Almost the exact size. Make it a little bigger. So now with that selected, if I go to my interactions <coughs> widget property, double click on click, open link in current window, and I'm going to um, theme park homepage, click OK, save it, and I've got the three pages ready to go. So let's generate that. Go to iPhone home. Actually, you can actually click off this page, the sidebar. There's my icon. Click on my icon. There's my uh, app homepage. I want to find by restrictions. There's my restrictions page. Let's go back to the uh, homepage. App. Find by restrictions. So I'll stop there in the next part of the demo. I'll actually build this page out a little bit to show how to make a choice uh, by input by the user in terms of uh, finding by height restriction.